This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 2nd, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up today by 0.83 points or 0.20% to 413.97. Total trade volume was slightly up but still fairly light with 86,405 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 484 million Khmer real or roughly 117,700 US dollars. On the main board, all stocks except two were in the green. The Phnom Penh Autonomous Port and Grand Twins International were the two biggest winners of the day. The Phnom Penh Autonomous Port was up by 4.65% or 600 real to 13,500 real per share, while Grand Twins International was up 4.53% or 130 real to 3,000 real per share. Other stocks up were the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, Royal Group Phnom Penh SCZ, MJQ Education, Cam GSM, and the Sienicville Autonomous Port. The two stocks down, on the other hand, were Pestec Cambodia, which was down 0.90% to 2,200 real per share, and Eclata Bank, which was down 0.79% to 7,520 real per share. Over on the growth board, both companies saw their stock prices increase. JS Land was up 1.66% or 60 real to 3,680 real per share, while DBD Engineering was up 0.48% or 10 real to 2,080 real per share. Trade volume leader of the day was the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, with 33,422 shares changing hands at a total value of 247.8 million real, or roughly 60,290 US dollars, accounting for around 22.6% of all shares traded on July 2nd. Aklata Bank still came in second despite being one of the only stocks down on the main board, accounting for 21.5% of the day's trade activity, with 31,817 shares traded at a value of 240.9 million real, or roughly 58,600 US dollars. In other market news, Cambodian fiber optic cable company Telco Tech announced that the coupon payment of its corporate bond has been transferred to all investors' accounts. According to a disclosure notice published on the CSX website, a total interest payment of 783,203.17 US dollars for 820,800 bonds was paid on July 1, 2024, with Wing Bank Cambodia PLC acting as the paying agent. It's worth noting that Telco Tech has listed corporate bonds on the CSX twice already. The company first listed a $20 million bond in 2021 with a five-year maturity, then listed a second $20 million bond also with a five-year maturity in 2024. CamGSM also announced its dividend payment to investors following the annual general shareholders meeting last week on June 28th. An annual guaranteed dividend payment of 7% or 158.90 Khmer real per share is to be paid in four equal portions quarterly to Class A shareholders. The dividend payment will be made between July 22 to 29, 2024. It should be noted that shareholders who sell their shares by July 10, 2024 will be entitled to get the dividend, whereas shareholders who buy shares on and after July 10 will not be entitled to get this dividend. The Khmer Real to USD weakened slightly to 4,112 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was up to 106. Oil prices continue to linger near two-month highs with positive demand outlook amid expectations of a busy travel season during the summer. International benchmark Brent crude traded at 86.83 US dollars per barrel, up 0.27% from the closing price of 86.60 US dollars per barrel in the previous trading session. Demand for fuel is expected to grow as the travel-heavy summer vacation season begins. Meanwhile, the long-standing Israeli-Palestinian conflict is continuing to raise geopolitical risks in the Middle East. Gold prices slipped on Tuesday as the US dollar held firm, while investors awaited comments from the US Federal Reserve chair and key jobs data for further clues about the interest rate outlook. Spot gold was down 0.2% at 2,327.06 US dollars per ounce. US gold futures steadied at 2,339.10 US dollars. Elections are very much on investors' minds when it comes to US assets, with Treasury yields remaining elevated and supportive of the dollar. With a win by former U.S. President Donald Trump in November's election seen as increasingly likely, investors are considering what the market impact could be. Experts say more fiscal stimulus and trade tariffs are inflationary and could put upside pressure on longer-term bond yields. In European markets, Tuesday's focus for many investors will also be on France, as they wait to see if the opponents of the country's far right can build a united front to hinder its path to victory. The euro, which tumbled after French President Emmanuel Macron's surprise election announcement, briefly touched the strongest level against the dollar in more than two weeks at the start of this week. This was Darshan Agauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 2nd.